Hi, I'm Dr. Chen Wen Liu from Orthopaedics 360. I'm a hip and knee replacement surgeon, and today I'd just like to talk to a little bit about what a total hip replacement is. It is very important for us to go over this prior to you seeing me or prior to any further surgery, as it is something that's really important to know as there can be many different types of hip surgeries out there. A total hip replacement in general is performed when someone has osteoarthritis of the hip. This means that the hip has degenerated to the point where it is no longer functioning in its normal way. The other cohort of patients who may need a hip replacement are those who fracture their hips. A hip replacement is something where we actually take out the disease ball and prepare the acetabulum. Now these parts of the body constitute the ball and socket joint of the hip. Whilst many people think of the hip as up here, where for example you may place your belt on, a hip joint is actually a little bit lower. Often patients with hip arthritis will complain of groin pain. Now a hip replacement is designed to replace the ball and socket with metal, ceramic or plastic. Now when I perform all of my hip replacements, the articulating surface between both the ball and liner are often ceramic on ceramic or ceramic on plastic. A hip replacement is composed of four parts in general. It includes a stem, a head, a liner and a shell. Certainly when I perform a hip replacement, we almost always put four parts in, but this can change depending on the type of prosthesis that is used. I like to use a modular prosthesis, which means that each prosthesis has different elements that can be placed onto it to change the orientation, size and position. That means that the head size can be changed, the head length can be changed, and the socket is placed to match the anatomical position and shape of a patient's own size and anatomy. A hip replacement is held in by the surrounding muscles, tendons, and ligaments. This is why I choose to perform all of my hip replacements using the direct anterior approach. A little bit more about the direct anterior approach in another video, but that is the method that I use for all of my hip replacements to maintain the ligaments, tendons, and muscular structures as best as possible around the hip. Once a hip replacement has been performed, you can almost always perform many of the normal activities that you were doing before. With the one exception of long distance road running, which as a surgeon, I have as a limitation for my patients who have hip or knee replacements. You certainly can run around and play tennis and run around and throw frisbees and play a bit of soccer with kids, but you wouldn't be performing at the elite level with your running capabilities. A hip replacement is a fantastic operation. It is one of the most successful operations that a surgeon can perform in ensuring the biggest improvement in quality of life. And it is certainly something that I feel has exceptional results both in the literature and in our real life situations. To learn a little bit more about hip replacements, please watch our channel or follow us on Facebook. Thank you for your time today for this short excerpt about hip replacements. I look forward to seeing you again for our future videos.